today we're going to make a burner so I can sell peanuts. Stick with me, will you? Okay guys, today what we're going to do is I'm going to cut three of these pieces here off. I'm going to weld them to this. And then we've got my homemade burner here out of a propane tank. It's just a piece of copper stuck over the nozzle. And about seven holes drilled in, six holes drilled in it. And I got the end pinched off. That's all it needs. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, to weld this or not. It kind of looks like stainless. But we'll see. If not, I got a couple of these. We'll make something work out of these. So let's get to it. Yeah, I just blew through it, but it'll be all right. I gotta have you can't adjust the temperature on this welder. You just go high and low. So Okay, now it's going to have to be strong, so I may have to um, see. I gotta bend them up a little bit. I may have to uh, reinforce it some, so that's not going to be a big deal. So let me get let me get something so I can reinforce this side so it doesn't spread out on me. And I may have to bend these in a little bit, get it up a little higher. It's no big deal. Let me do some adjusting on this, and then we'll weld something across here to kind of keep it, you know, from spreading out so much. Okay, guys, here's what I came up with. I put a piece of metal across there. I still got you on the stand, sorry. And I just tacked a couple bolts on here kind of like a bipod to hold my burner in there now let's go get a pan and some water and uh, let's see what happens okay guys I have a pot of water here let's see if it holds it not a problem oh yeah that's going to hold it fine um, I got some water in there. Cause see what I'm gonna do is this 
this is already going to be hot. The peanuts are already going to be hot because I'm only, I'm just doing this to see if they're going to sell okay. Now, I'm going down to the end of the road tomorrow and I'm going to try to sell. And I'm also going, excuse me, I'm going to try to sell some peanuts too. So, I'm going to get this hot before I go down. And all this is going, because I don't think this would ever bring it to a boil. But, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn this on every half hour to an hour or so. There's my burner. Then I'll just stick this in here. Just like that. Oh yeah. I think it's going to be all right. Here, let me show you underneath there what we've got going on. Trial and error, folks. So, yeah, I think that'll keep it warm. Now, did I do this to save 30 bucks? Because I can buy the, the thing online without the pot. I don't need the pot. For 30 bucks. Now, I did it because I don't have 30 bucks, to be honest with you, to buy one and order it. Plus, I've got enough tanks. It takes a big tank, you know, uh, like your barbecue grills take. It takes a big tank like that. So then I have to go get my tank filled. There's another 20 bucks. So I'd be into it for 50 bucks, not even knowing if it's gonna, if I'm gonna even sell any good out here. Nobody sells peanuts, boiled peanuts in this town. Next town over, they do. But if it does okay, then I'll go ahead and get me the actual burner. Like I said, this is just—it's not to save money. It's—it was it free? Yeah. Was it worth my time to do it? Yeah, if you got the stuff laying around, sure, do it, you know. Because um, I've been at this maybe for an hour. So, well, maybe not even that long, about 45 minutes. So, I had the stuff laying around. If you, if you got the stuff laying around that you can cut up and do this with, sure, go for it. But to, is it worth it if you got the money to go buy one of them? No. No, it's it, it's it's not worth it, especially if you got to go buy the copper tube that I already had, the two bolts I already had, and those pieces I cut off that old TV TV wall mount. If you got stuff like that, sure it's fine, but uh, to save thirty bucks, if I had the money just to go buy one, no, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be making this, because like I said, I don't know if this is going to get. That water hot enough to boil or not? Um, I doubt it. Now I could take that orifice out and change it and make the flames go bigger, but I'm going to use more of my my propane tanks. So this is just to keep it warm. Like I said, I'm not taking this 20 miles up the road where I got to worry about a spilling and all that stuff. I'm going right down here at the end of this road, and it's. So it's already going to be hot. This will keep it warm throughout the day. I can turn it on every hour or whatever and leave it on for a little bit and it'll be fine for that. But um, I don't know. I'm going, I'm, I am going to let it run for a little bit and see. But uh, yeah, I, I, think, I think it'll be alright. It'll keep my peanuts warm enough. So, you know, that's what I'm looking at. And like I said, if I do well tomorrow, I'll take you with me tomorrow. So um, we'll see how many how many things of peanuts, and they're selling pretty much anywhere for three dollars. I'm gonna start selling them at two just to see what you know, just to see how it goes. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get my peanuts and I'm gonna soak them for about ten or twelve hours, maybe you know, till early in the morning. Then I'm gonna boil them. For the five hours i'm gonna let them simmer for the five hours so they'll be nice and hot by the time i get down there first thing in the morning and so and it'll they'll stay hot for a long while 
and when they do start cooling down like I said this is just to keep the water warm that's all I don't think it's going to bring it to a boil but if it does that's even better but and also you know these these tanks aren't cheap either but I happen to have some left over from when we had the uh, the hurricane and stuff so I got two full tanks this one's about half full so I'm also going to time it and see how long this half full tank will run and then I can pretty much double that time for a full tank and I'll know what I can get out of them so we'll just have to see so thanks for watching guys I appreciate it I've got some mountain house videos you're going to want to see those uh, we're going to do a review on them and I'll explain that to you in an upcoming video probably the video after this one so anyway like I said we're going to do some new stuff this year guys so um, thanks for watching thanks for all your support guys I, I really appreciate all your comments and everything and you know feel free to share my videos and if this is the first time you're watching you know at the end of this video you don't even have to click out of this video at the end of this video there'll be a subscribe right there on your screen click that subscribe button make sure the bell notifications on so you can get notified when I upload awesome videos like this so anyway guys thanks for watching and we'll chat soon stay tuned for the mountain house review videos and a good story on that <laughs> shea bear the myth the man legend i'm gone for now bye bye guys and take care I believe a little longer, it would start to boil. It's at 180 degrees at 33 minutes. So. Pretty happy with it. I made me a nice stainless wind guard too. Thanks for watching.